Penny for your thoughts? A penny. All right, then. How about a present? <laughs> what is it? Open it up. This is great. It's just what I need. This one's almost full. Good timing. How'd you know? <sighs> Somebody told me. Well, it couldn't have been Martin. Why not? Because I didn't start writing in this until after he left. <laughs> well, maybe you just seemed like the type. Like me. I write down all of my thoughts, good and bad. Yeah, that's what I do. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> How about a hug? What happened? What do you mean, Ma? Come on, Julie, you're cooking. Somebody has to, Ma. You are a lousy cook. You only go in the kitchen to eat. Just sit down and eat, please. Is it Tom? I'm losing it, Mom. Come on, why do you say that? I love him more than you. We were having problems after Martin died, but he was coming around. He just needed some time. And then she came, Mom. Julie, honey, you are setting yourself up. No, I'm not. Every time I turn around, she's with him. Well, it is not going to last much longer. She believe in soon. Hope so. wanted to thank you for what you did this morning. Oh, don't make a big deal about it. Gail would have done just fine without me. No, I, uh, I wanted to tell you how grateful I was, and then I, uh, I came up here where his things are, and <laughs> there's a, um, Roman sale at the church, and Arthur wanted me to Put everything in box. Evelyn, these are just things. They're just things. Things are easy to get rid of. You know that. Just pack them in a box and away they go. No mess, no fuss. Yeah, memories are different, don't you think? Memories are forever. You can't give them away. Can't give them away no matter how hard you try. You really loved him, didn't you? Yeah, but he 
we loved each other. And he loved you too, Evelyn. He used to say, uh, it was scary how much I reminded him of you. Oh. Evelyn? You all right? Yes, Arthur, I'm all right. I'm just fine. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go downstairs and make supper. And I want you to finish putting these things away in boxes for me. I don't know how you did this, but, uh... We want you to know, uh... I want you to know. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. You must be tired. We've been at this for hours. It's fun. We needed it. Mm. <laughs> we all did. I'll go get the rest of the stuff. Oh, yeah, there's some in the bedroom? In the closet up there? Yeah. Well, um, it looks wonderful. What's wrong? I don't know. This is your daughter's 12th birthday, the only one she'll ever have. She shouldn't suffer because things aren't the way we want them to be. I don't believe this. This is great, Mom. Thanks. <laughs> it really is. Dear Diary, today I spent a wonderful day with Connie. She has become my very best friend. She seems so real and is always nice to me. We laugh and talk about things I could never tell Mom. She is the big sister I've always wanted. to get it together so quickly. Oh, there's nothing. Hello. That depends on your perspective. No one ever threw me at party, so this seems pretty special to me. I'm sorry. I didn't know that. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. But you know the old saying, you don't miss what you never have? Uh-huh. Don't you believe a word of it. <laughs> That's very sad. There you go. You know the doctor for Johnny died. Elbows off the table. Very nice, dear. <laughs> Lovely. Great. <laughs> Cake and beer. <laughs> Mom, it all goes to the same place. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, Julie. Oh, Julie. We did invite you, didn't we? I'm sorry. It was all sort of last minute. And we appreciate the thought, but um, I had to work. Tom, um, you ready? I'm oh, sorry. Is it tonight? Uh, yeah, it is. Mm. Oh, okay. I was gonna help with the dishes. Oh, don't worry about it, Tom. I'll I'll clean up. Thanks. Okay. Julie, tell your mom that pecan pie was a godsend. I will. We loved it. It's the best I ever tasted. Bye. 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 She must have been quite a surprise. Yes, yeah, she was. So what's her story? She and Martin met in the Pacific and were getting pretty serious and then he died. Martin never wrote about her? No, of course not. Hey. What? Mm. Let's forget about dinner. Just go down to the beach. Oh, 
But I'm hungry. difference in our lives thank you making a difference in mine too by being around all of you I feel as though Marty hasn't gone oh, hard to believe he isn't here it must be difficult to accept such a tragedy when you have a life as perfect as yours it is and we've had many happy years before this how long have you and Evelyn been together oh 30 odd years she came into town much as you did uh, on her own and no clear destination, just uh, look for work. You never met a family? No. No, she doesn't have a family, just us. That was fun. I never thought I'd enjoy another family gathering. I'll leave you ladies to clean up. Good night. Uh, good night. He's a good man. You're lucky. Yes, he is. He's put up with an awful lot for me, though. I don't believe that. You make him happy. Well, we all have our own demons and regrets. You regret having a family? No. Family's what we're put on Earth for. Children are God's gift to us. Each and every one of them. Some people say they're God's curse. That's horrible. Then you don't think so? If I did, I wouldn't have had any, would I? Look, um, why don't you run off and find Julie and Tom and uh, get yourself out of the house for a while? He's a crowd. No, not in this case. If I didn't know any better, I'd say we have some of the same blood running through our veins. Night. Night. 